good morning everyone hello are you able to hear me hello <clears throat> my voice is audible to you yes yesterday class was cancelled due to my my health issues i was not well hey yeah so let's start with the <coughs> today's session that is session number 10 data exchange syndication or the excel So when we say XML, so this is considered a language which in the future may replace the HTML. But now it is, it replaces the HTML. Not in the future, but current scenarios also use that it replaces the HTML. This is considered as a language which replaces the HTML for loading the web pages. It is an HTML that is derived from set of SGML that is a standard generalized markup language. It also permits a programmer to define new tasks and their meaning. So this, this contains the predefined tasks, not the predefined that the user defined text, the user that get create. And XML is also case sensitive as compared to the HTML. Yes. So let's start with the session again. XML is Excel for language. It's a simple markup language that is for version of the HTML that is derived already from the SGML standard generalized markup language that permits a programmer to define the new tags, new meanings that is a user defined tags and these tags can be defined in a DTD. Uh, sorry. That is a document type definition which may either be embedded in the XML file which is used or if the tags are used in the several files. DTD may be in a separate uh, file download with the XML files and read by the browsers. And the presentation style of XML file consent or content may be separated from the structure of the file in a style sheet that is prepared by the XSL that is extensible style language. And these XLL is a language for defining the hypertext links in the XML web page that belongs also to the family. <coughs> And the XML document object is a special data type in the CFMX that can be easily be converted into the data type by means of the function. So we use a function XML pass for this, defining a data type that can be easily be identified. And the greater advantage will be used is that it can be processed by the ordinary CFMX structure function. That is not well defined, that is not um, processed, that is a normal ordinary CFMX structure function. And there is exist XML document that must be strictly well defined, that is well formed, it is free from the syntax errors. Whatsoever the syntax error that exists in the XML that cannot be processed, that cannot be rectified. And this is an extensive topic which deserves its own course and in this course we have space only to refer to the interested students of the short introduction of the XML in RBP and to many books that have issued in the recent years on the topic. And what's the one the remaining session that we discussed, so that we discussed to exchange the data between types of computer platforms based on XML, based on WDDX, that does not require any extensive knowledge about the XML language. So one is the XML, one is the HTML, one is the CFMX, one is the SGML. The next is the distributed data exchange, that is the WDD, or WDDX, sorry. This is an open technology for exchanging all kinds of data by means of XML representation. So we can exchange any types of data, any kind of data by means of the XML representation that is intended to be used for exchanging data among applications implemented by different software languages. So whatsoever the software languages we are used, that is provided among the, among implemented with the software languages and run on different hardware platform also. And this WTDX is also constructed on the simple assumption that data to be exchanged is serialized from the local language of the center to a representation readable by all the system. So whatsoever the serialized system, whatsoever the deserialized system to the foreign languages of the receiver, these are done, these are uh, opted by all the system that are serialized to the foreign language of the receiver. 
and whatsoever the foreign languages to see where that serialization and ready serialization exists for which a feed for each environment participating in that stage. And this required WDDX function have already been prepared for many programming languages and can, can be used for the internet, can be used from the WDDX. In CFMX, the serialization and the deserialization are controlled by a special tag. That is a CW, CFWDDX, action is this one, input is this, output is this. So this tag can also be used without any knowledge of the XML. So what's our action attribute that can take two values in which we are interested out. So CFML2 WDDX is also used for the serialization and WDDX2 CFML is used for the deserialization or centralization. So two more will be discussed in the last session that is the last part. And other languages have also corresponding instruction which permits each partner to use the languages that is also started with the WCW CFW DDX. And these tags can also be defined, can also be used without any knowledge of XML. But these can take the two values in which we are interested in. So these are used for the serialization and these are used for the deserialization also. So one is a serialization, one is a decentralization. Other languages platform that also correspond, that also permits with each part. Now next is data exchange between the art galleries. Now the next topic is the data exchange between the art galleries. So whatever the representation, whatever the technology we are using of, that technology is demonstrated in the following scenario that will be taken out, that will be used with the cooperative uh, with the cooperative galleries. Art galleries A and B, which is agreed to inform each other in a text and imaging about their scope, whatsoever the image, whatsoever the data we are requiring that is required by the that is required by the painting and the end of each one. And this kind of loose cooperation is often referred as a contained syndication. So whatsoever the cooperation, whatsoever the coordination among the text, among the images that is used, that is known as the syndication. And the following data about each painting should be included in the exchange. First is the identification, then name of picture, name of artist, time at which the painting was completed, the estimated value, then picture of the painting. Ah yes, we can say that identification will be included in the name of the picture, name of the artist at which the painting was completed. So it is also the estimated value they are carrying out. It is also the picture of the painting that is going on. So each gallery has its own database, not available on the web. So a problem for the data exchange is that the partners have can have different hardware platform that run different operating system and database systems. But unfortunately. WDDX module exists for both systems and one. That shows the data exchange between the scenarios between the two galleries that will be available. One is the host A, one is the host B. Host A contains the client one, client two, the database A, gallery A, gallery B. Host B contains the client N plus one, N plus two, host B, deserialization, serialization, and database B that our gallery A and the gallery B. So this is a data exchange between the gallery A and the gallery B, which is used for the serialization and the deserialization. And to implement, to demonstrate the WDDX data exchange, so we use the economy, we use the publicly uh, set, we use the following template. So index.cfm generates the menu for the application, whatsoever the menu we are taking out that will be used for the application. Then form store.cfm and store.cfm for packing and storing the new picture data. Then transmit.cfm for retrieving and sending the stored picture data. Then packet.cfm for inspecting or receive WDDX packet. Then table.cfm for unpacking and view the received image data. 
So these templates will be generated out for use in the WDDX data exchange that are defined or that are used as a data exchange as a, as a index or CFM. This will be used for the home store.cfm, transmit or CFM, packet or CFM and the table or CFM. And that menu is yeah, that menu is quite ordinary and should not need any explanation. This is the H2. Yeah, that will be given with the index or CFM with the alignment with the categories of the different alignments. So whatsoever the data we are using now, that will be exchanged within the WDDX data exchange. I consider the templates. First is the index or CFM that generates the menu for the application. Then form stored or CFM and stored or CFM for packing and storing the new picture data. Then transmit or CFM for retrieving and sending the stored picture data. Then packet or CFM for inspecting the received WDDX packet. Then table or CFM for unpacking and view the received image data. And that menu is quite ordinary and should not need any explanation. So this is index or CFM DIB align is centered. H2 font color is blue, menu for WDDX example, then font will be closed and H2 will be closed. <coughs> then table, that includes the TR, TD. Uh, within the TD there is a link with a picture, that is hyperlink is given, then TD will be closed and TR will be closed. And the next TR, TD. Again, there is a linking, transmit data. Next year, C table, again, there is a linking, again, there is a linking, C packet. So these are the linking. Or links will be given for the, for the hyperlink. Then the table will be closed and DIV will be closed. Now this form stored or CFM in the form for uploading a new picture from your client compute or the server to the health gallery, assuming that you are in charge of this gallery and has acquired the picture painting. So this is the form stored or CFM. There's a center. <coughs> we are using the center alignment. H2 phone color is 000 FF for storing the picture data in a database. Select an image stored in your PC. That does not matter what you call the painting or the artist name. But the main matter is that what you have stored in the painting, what you have done in the painting. Then C form or CF form action is stored or CFM. Then method is post. Again, there is a table, then TR, TD, picture name, TD, CF input name, name, input type, text, TR, TD, picture artist, TD, CF input name, artist. So these are given with the TR, TD for creating the rows and the tables or for the cells. So whatsoever the data we are using out, that will be stored in the picture, that will be stored in the database. So select an image stored on your PC that does not matter what you are calling with the image with the artist name. Then uh, action is also given as a store.cfm method is given as a post. Then next table, next table will be created for the picture name. Then there is an input name, there is a text box, then picture artist, there is a text box. Then picture created, again there is a text box, picture value, again there is a text box. Picture file, that is a type is file, not a text box, that will be given out here. And TR, TD, TD will be closed, TR will be open over here. The input type is also given as a submit, file is a submit. And the table will be closed in the form which is used. This is the example, this is the storing the picture in the database. Select an image, store it in your PC. The does not matter what you call the printing image on the, or the artist name. So there's a picture name, there's a picture artist, there's a picture creative, 
picture value and picture value. So these are even with what, whatsoever the printing they have, whatsoever the data they have with the district name. So the store to CFM is more interesting, more uploading from the user computer to the server in the main gallery that is provided in the chunk of statement. No, no, no. Whatsoever the data we are using up, <coughs> whatsoever the file we are using up, that is we can fill the, uh, we can say that we can fill the text, we can fill the characters, anything that over here. This is how we can store the pictures data in a database, how, 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 how we can move with the new artist. The store.cfm is also more interesting because the line 2 upload the selected picture from the users and also stored in a gallery that stores in a temporary binary image file. Next statement, what's about the statement that reads the file into the variable known as a picture. Therefore, New structure that is a picture data is also defined in line 4 that can be processed, that can be structured, that can be populated by the lines 5 to 9. And what is the more convenient data type over here? Because it is a homogeneous, uh, heterogeneous data type, so heterogeneous type. So we are using the structure that is a more convenient data type because it can be processed as a single object to the variable. But our variable is also the picture data. That image format, that 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 uh, data type will be processed as a single object or a variable. These are defined, these are used as a file, as a variable known as picture, which will be available in the temporary binary image form. These are given with the structure, these are given with the convenient type of the object or the variable. This is the picture data, data that will be available over here that will be used for the store.cf. CFM that is again the coding which we use for storing the data how we can or how it is used to store how it is used to maintain with the picture data so what's over the gallery what's over the picture object that is used up that is used for making that variable that is used for making the constant variable make efficient for making the variable Mm, yes, these, these are able to...